Maryville Church of Field in Maryville, Missouri, on the Northwest Missouri State Campus. I'm John Coffrey, alongside Matt Trudden. Jackson Phelps is our sideline reporter. And for Northwest Missouri State, they will kick off and go from our left to our right. They have the ball teed up at the 35-yard line. What should be a heck of a game coming up, Matt? And perfect weather here, family weekend for Northwest Missouri State. No better place to have the MIAA game of the week here in week five. Go Elmo with the teed up at the 35-yard line, as I mentioned. A good crowd coming in on this family weekend. And here comes the kick with the wind to his back. A high end over and kick, and it will go out of the end zone. And for Emporia State, they'll take over from that later 25-yard line. Talked about it a lot already. 73 pass attempts a week ago. Uh, 71 in regulation against Missouri West, where we want to see if Emporia State's going to come out and how they're going to start this game. Let's go down and check in with our sideline reporter, Jackson Phelps. Yeah, guys, huge environment here for Family Weekend. Northwest getting ready to play two huge wins back-to-back. -back. The energy is so high here for Family Weekend. It's packed in the house. It is amazing weather. Really excited to have some Bearcat football back in Bearcat Stadium. Good or good, the at quarterback for the Hornets. They'll have two receivers go wide to the left side. In the backfield is Billy Ross Jr. who gets the carry on first and ten. Not much there. Just spins around a couple times. We brought down for a loss of a couple. There was Jake Fisher to make the hit for Northwest. Seeing Jake Fisher get back there. A couple linebackers and Parker Bowen and Andrew Dubas as well. Northwest getting some good penetration, pushing and pouring State back on the first play of the game. No little offense, got him back to pass, pressured as he throws, wings it out on the right side and goes complete right in front of the state bench on that far right sideline as Billy Ross was then 10 and receiver. Parker Edwards there on the coverage, coming in from a middle linebacker position. And this brings up third down and one. Jake Fisher, a little bit of pressure there, got to Gundy and knocked him. Turf. And so I think something Northwest wants early on and often, make sure Gundy know that pass rush is going to be here throughout this football game. Third down coming up. Third and long, back to pass is Gundy, tosses it out the backfield, pass caught by Ross on the left side, the numbers to the 20 to 25, 26 yard line to brought down from behind, and there was Shane Fredrickson to come in and make the hit, and this will bring up fourth, and not for his face, a good start to this game for the Bearcat defense. And just trying to get Ross out in space, get an offensive lineman, Trevion Mitchell out there in front, trying to lead the charge. Got one block, just not enough room, and a lot of green shirts is able to rally to the football that play. Dominic Myers back deep to return this punt. Caden Dawson, well, punted away. He punts with his left foot, but he kicks with his right foot as he's their kicker as well. The ambidextrous kicker slash punter. That's like John Coffey on the tennis courts. You, gotta, you can go both sides, right? But not real well. <laughs> Here comes the snap. Roy 